Hello, you guys. Welcome back. Um, I got an email asking to solve limits algebraically. So here we go. The first way to find limits algebraically is direct substitution. In here, I have limit as x approaches 2. The equation is 3x minus 5. X approaches 2. Dir direct substitution only means we use the x and plug it in. So, we have 3, parenthesis 2 minus 5, which equals 6 minus 5 equals 1. The limit is 1 as x approaches 2. The next problem is x minus x approaches um, negative 1. And the equation is x squared minus 3x minus 2. Sorry, it's negative 1. So we plug it in. And this is 1 plus 3 minus 2, which is also 2, 4 minus 2, which is 2. So the limit is 2 as x approaches negative 1. The next method is factor and cancel. Here we have limit as x approaches 2. The equation is x squared minus 3x plus 2 over x minus 2. So, when we do this, we always use direct substitution, just to make sure. And this is 2 squared minus 3, parenthesis 2, plus 2, over 2 minus 2 which is 4 minus 6 plus 2 over 0, which is 0 over 0. When we have 0 over 0, this is the indeterminate form. When we have the indeterminate form, we use the factor and cancel, which is limit as x approaches 2, and we factor the top, which is x minus 2, x minus 1, sorry, minus 1, over x minus 2. We cancel top and bottom, and we have limit as x approaches 2, and we have the top part, which is x minus 1, and we do direct substitution, which is 2 minus 1 equals 1. Here is another problem which is says limit as x approaches 4 and the problem is x minus 4 over x squared minus 16. Again, we do direct substitution just to make sure which is 4 minus 4 over 4 squared minus 16, which is 0 over 0, the indeterminate form. So we factor and cancel. Limit as x approaches 4, the top stays the same, and the bottom is the difference of squares, which is x minus 4, x plus 4. We cancel top and bottom, and we end up with having limits as x approaches 4, 1 over x plus 4, we do direct substitution, which is four, 1 over 4 plus 4, which is 1 over 8. The third and last way to find limits algebraically is rationalize and cancel. So rationalize and cancel, we rationalize the bottom by multiplying by the conjugate which is square root of x plus
plus 1 over square root of x plus 1. Then we have limit as x approaches 1 equals x minus 1 square root of x plus 1 over x plus square root of x minus the square root of x minus 1, which is then we have limit x approaches 1 x minus 1 square root of x plus 1 over x minus 1 we cross out and then we have limit x approaches 1 this is what we got we have square root of x plus 1 and we finally do direct substitution which is square root of 1 plus 1 equals 2 so 2 is the limit as x approach approaches 1 and that's it hope you guys learned something today and thanks for watching bye bye